does practical mean we continue to go with the status quo while 500,000 people sleep on the streets at night? That's not practicality. In one of the most uplifting bits of news over the last several months, if not over the last several years, former Ohio State Senator and Bernie Sanders National Co-Chair Nina Turner is eyeing a run for Congress. Now, this is somebody that I've been actively covering since the beginning of this channel. Back in 2016, I was doing videos about Nina Turner, including how she would be the, the perfect vice president for a president, Bernie Sanders. And since then, she has been one of the most active voices for the working class, right up there with Bernie Sanders. So it makes perfect sense that she would be in a position of power within Congress. So let me show you, before I get into uh, a clip that I want to show you, in case you're not familiar with Nina Turner, where have you been? But I'll show you a clip and get into more details, including what Nina has said about this. Just uh, where Turner may fit in. CNN tweeting out here, Justin, President-elect Joe Biden is expected to nominate Representative Marsha Fudge as Housing and Urban Development Secretary, sources say, which would add another black woman to his cabinet. So this is likely to happen, according to um, Clyburn, a close Biden ally, He's saying that Marsha Fudge is going to be somewhere within Joe Biden's cabinet, leaving this seat open, of course, for Nina Turner. The uh, Politico headline here, Bernie co-chair Nina Turner eyes Fudge seat. Turner is being coaxed by left-wing activists, aides, and elected officials to throw her hat in the ring. Now, before I get into any more details, let me show you this clip. This is from back in uh, February on MSNBC, and it shows you Nina Turner's uncompromising fight for the working class. James Carville made the argument over the weekend that Senator Sanders isn't a Democrat, he's an ideologue. And we've got to get practical. If he is the candidate, he is not going to be able to help win over the Senate. And unless you have the Senate, if you've just got the White House, you ain't going to get nothing done. Seventy. Does practical mean that the 89 or so million people who are uninsured or underinsured in this country continue to suffer? Does being practical mean that we don't take steps in this country to deal with climate chaos and bring world leaders to bear? Does being practical mean that we continue to prop up a legal system that is unjust in every stretch of the imagination, that bears its weight down on black men and black women, and then by extension, if you are Hispanic or indigenous or poor? Does being practical mean that we don't say to the American people that you deserve better than what you are getting, that's not the kind of practicality we want. Does practical mean that you hold fundraisers and wine caves with Swarovski crystals with bil billionaires who want to control this system? Does practical mean we continue to go with the status quo while 500,000 people sleep on the streets at night? That's not practicality. So with all due respect to Mr. Carver, what the P American people in this country need, they need somebody that is unabashed and that has the courage and the conviction to stand up for them and and to call out the rigging of this system. And that candidate is Senator Bernie Sanders. But She's incredible. And again, if you're somehow not familiar with Nina Turner, just look her up on YouTube. Check out other clips. Watch her speeches. One of the most important voices for the working class, an uncompromising voice, always standing up for those in need. Now, let me give you some more details here, including uh, what Nina Turner herself says about this. But first up... Quote, I have encouraged her to run if the seat is open, as that is her congressional district, and she would have the immediate support of the National Bernie Movement, said Representative Rokana, a fellow former Sanders campaign co-chair. Quote, she'd be a fantastic ally for the movement in Congress. Pressed on whether she was considering a run, Turner said, well, there's been an outcry for me to at least consider it. You know, I'm a public servant through and through, but I'm just going to leave it there for now. Nina Turner being coy about what she plans to do, but uh, come on. <laughs> I mean, this would be the perfect opportunity. You have Marsha Fudge leaving that seat. That is Nina Turner's district. It only makes sense that she would run for that seat. And let's be honest here. Congress, I don't think, is, is enough. Nina Turner should run in 2024. She should be right there challenging Kamala Harris and whoever else may try and run uh, to replace Joe Biden. Because we know, look... I know it's it's not a foregone conclusion, but it's kind of the assumption at this point that Biden's not going to last eight years, that he will go away after four years, and that uh, there's the assumption that Kamala Harris will simply take over. But no, there's going to be a primary challenge, and especially if Joe Biden doesn't do enough to actually substantially help people, you're not going to get you know Medicare for all, for example, from Joe Biden, then there is a real opportunity there 
for a working class voice, and that's where Nina Turner would come in. But getting ahead of myself here, <laughs> uh, let's start with Congress. But um, a little more from Nina's background. Turner, 53, represented the Cleveland area as a state senator from 2008 to 2014 and served on the Cleveland City Council before that. She had weighed running for the House seat in 2008 when it was last open, but ultimately decided to campaign for the state Senate instead. Now, she's also seeing a lot of support from uh, some people already in Congress, including Cori Bush, who tweeted out, Hello, somebody, Secretary Marsha Fudge and Congresswoman Nina Turner. That has a great ring to it. Yes, it does. You're already seeing the uh, working class coalition in Congress grow with Cori Bush, Jamal Bowman, Mondaire Jones, and, and a few others. While the only seats that were lost by Democrats in the House were lost by conservative Democrats, meaning the working class uh, uh, coalition in the Democratic Party in Congress is growing while the conservative voice in the Democratic Party is shrinking. And that will only continue as you keep having these primary challenges, these candidates that are just based in uh, grassroots funding, not taking any corporate money, not taking any big money, representing the people. And that's exactly what Nina Turner is about. 